guys, welcome back to my channel. I'm Adrian, and today I'm going to be doing a collab video with my friend Emily. And I'm actually pretty excited for this because, well, I'm not excited because, okay, I'm excited for the video, but I'm not excited of the subject of it because it's about back to school. <sighs> Summer's almost over, but just try and make it the best you can before it ends. And if any of you are already in school, I am praying for you. So yeah, uh, the collab video is going to be, um, I'm going to be doing the makeup portion of the collab and then she's going to be doing outfits and then I'm going to be doing study tips and she's going to be doing tips on how to do well in school or just things, how to be in school, just how to act and things to do when you're in school. So she'll have tips mostly on the general school and I'll have tips on just studying. So I hope you guys will enjoy and by no means if you can't if you don't feel like wearing makeup then don't wear it. This is just if you want to make wear makeup and you don't know what to wear or how to do it or what products to use, I've got some tips for you. Now I've got the first one which is a light makeup look with only very minimal makeup at all and that is if you aren't allowed to wear a lot but if you can't but you can enhance your face or enhance your skin just a tiny bit more the second makeup look is more of a natural look but not as light so I've got a bit of face product the slightest bit and then just a little bit of the on the eyes and yeah so if this is too dramatic for you or if this is too much makeup that you're allowed to wear or too much for you, then that's totally fine. Don't wear it. You could wear the first one or you don't have to wear any makeup at all. At all. But I hope this is really helpful for you guys as well, the tips and the makeup. And if you like it, then don't forget to give this a thumbs up and subscribe. I will link Emily's um, link video in the description and yeah make sure to check out hers and subscribe to her please do that she has an awesome channel and yeah so i hope you guys will like it and let's begin this first makeup look is super light and natural and uses very little makeup at all and so you want to start out with moisturizing your skin and even if you're not wearing makeup moisturizing is important because it will hydrate your skin and then just make sure you blend that all in and then after that, go ahead and powder your face. And I'm going to be using the Rimmel Stay Matte Powder, which I find is really, really great. And then going in with my baby lips. And this is like the mango flavor or something like that um, to moisturize your lips. And then go in with a clear lip gloss just to kind of give your lips a little shine if you want to amp them up. And then I'm just going over and combing out my brows to shape them a little better and without using any product. So that will be the completed first look. Once again, start out with your moisturizer to make sure your skin's hydrated and then blend that right into your skin. And this part's optional, but concealing will help with dark circles and blemishes and to just really brighten up under your eyes if you have that problem. If you're up late studying, um, then do that. And then highlighting will brighten up your skin and just give a natural glow, which I really like the effect of highlighting. This is High Beam. And then I'm just using Coralista Blush, which is a very nice natural coral color, which will just look super good, natural. And then I'm just powdering off with my Rimmel Stay Matte once again. And then, of course, you can fill in your eyebrows to give them a little more definition, which I really like doing. And then comb over your lashes with a black mascara to make them pop a little bit more and it doesn't have to be black just saying and then i'm just going in with my nyx butter gloss and apple custard or something apple strudel oh yeah apple strudel and then you can go in with a white eyeliner to line your inner rims and your inner corner to make them bright and poppy yeah that's the completed makeup look for the second one study tip number one work and study in a quiet and comfortable place so bring a pillow and maybe a little sweater or blanket just so you're very comfortable at your seat and a good place to study is in your room with the door shut and maybe a little sign on there saying I'm studying please just keep it down around my room and knock before you enter so your desk is actually a really good place to study and to just keep comfortable and quiet so you're in your own space another good spot is your bed your bed is another good place because you can be in your own space because it's still in your room and you can be super comfortable. Just make sure you don't fall asleep. No, no. Let's just study, focus, notebook, school. Okay, let's just do some studying. Just study, study, study. 
No phone distraction. Just don't even look at it. No, no, no. No phone, no computers, no toys around you, nothing that can distract you. And to me, for me, I am always distracted by my phone, so I leave it on, but I keep it over there, which still isn't a good idea. So, this is what you need to do. You just need to hold that power button down and slide to power off. Because, because your phone is going to distract you too much and you won't be able to get your work and your studying done. So, shut it off. Shut it off right now. Do it. And... This is another big tip. You might love your music, but you know, you kind of need to get back to school and studying. So, ew. Hmm. Now, you may really want to listen to music, but what you could do is still listen to music, but you could listen to some quiet instrumental music without lyrics so you don't get distracted by other words confusing you. A great app to use is this app called 8Tracks. So what you can do is you can go to the Explore section, the Explore button or the Explore section of the app, and then you can click on Instrumental, com, instrumental Study, and Quiet. Or, and you can use those little adjectives to describe your music. And so I really, really like this because you, and because you can listen to whatever type of music and you can find instrumental music just like that without having to fuss between YouTube videos and songs. You can just let it all play through the playlist and it'll move next, move to the next playlist once it's over. And I suggest listening to an instrumental song that is quiet that you don't know. So if you don't know the song, then you can't really make or sing the lyrics to it as you go so you won't get as distracted either. Okay, class. Mm -hmm. Just gonna doodle while she writes this stuff on the board. Now this, my friends, is a no-no. When your teacher is writing something very important on the board or you think that might help you out, or if you have no clue, write it anyways, because this will ultimately, I guarantee you, help you somehow in the year, and if it doesn't, then, okay, I don't know what happens if it doesn't, but it probably will. So when your teacher's writing anything on the board that is part of the subject, and I'm you, you should be paying attention to know that it's part of the subject, and if you're not, then write it down anyways. But if she's writing something on the board, then write it down and don't just doodle because it's, it's not going to help you out. It's not. Oh, there's a test coming up next week. What was it again? Oh, yeah, math test. There's my math section, and there's all my math notes. There's also a science test next week. Where is my science section? Ah, right here, and here are, all, here are all my science notes. Another tip is to separate all your subjects into different sections of a book or use different notebooks for each subject. So when you realize that you have a test in a couple weeks or in a week, then you can be prepared and you'll have different sections for each subject so you're not all flustered and confused on where your notes are. Okay, time to write some notes down for next week's geotest. Oh, there's a key word. It's a good thing to underline, circle, highlight, and even color your keywords to make sure that they pop out at you so you don't forget them. Okay, time to study. Only a couple days left. Now, definition. What is a tornado? A tornado is a ripped tomato.
right? Hmm. Nope. Hmm. Just gotta keep reading. Okay, tornado. Another good tip. Use flashcards to help yourself remember or understand and remember some important definitions, keywords, and all that. So, even if you got the word wrong, just turn it around and just keep rereading it and trying to understand its concepts and find a way or a little kind of way to, I don't know, relate the word to the definition. So, if I were talking about what a house is, what is or what a roof is, what is a roof? Um, well, roof, R, house, O. Oh, house has an O at the second letter and roof has an O at the second letter. So that's how I could relate it. I don't know, that wasn't the greatest example, but that's kind of what you could do too to remember. And flashcards are very, very awesome because you can, they're really compact and you can keep them with you instead of a bunch of notebooks. And you can just, and your friend can do it for you very, very quickly. Woo, that was an awesome weekend. Oh, I have a calendar alert. Oh shoot, I forgot there's a test tomorrow. One day to study? Ugh. Now you don't want to keep hitting your head on the table, so maybe you should just mark it in your agenda or your planner that you are having a test that day. And so you want to make sure that you're always remembering that it's that day and you should start studying right away and don't leave it until Sunday even though you are having an exciting weekend and you've had a tiring week and you just want to relax and do your own thing and I know I feel you that I always want to edit upload post and just film so many videos go on all everything go swimming and have so much fun in the summer or on the weekend but you still have school the next week and it's not gonna hold for you guys so you gotta make sure that you can study all weekend and all week until that day <laughs> okay, so what what did my agenda say again? Oh right. Miss Klibenschnein said that there's a test in two weeks. Better start studying today so I can soak it all in by that time. Oh, oh at least Monday is over and it's Tuesday even closer to Friday. Oh, what's in my agenda now? Oh right, it said, oh right, yesterday, there's Miss Klibenschnein said there was a test. I studied it for it yesterday, I'll study for it again. It's so late, <laughs> I'm so tired. Well, I studied so much today, I guess that doesn't, I guess that means I don't have to study for the rest of the week. Time to go to bed. <laughs> okay, it's a good thing that you studied the first day, but studying all night and then being so tired and thinking that you don't have to study for the rest of the week, no. Study for at least 10 minutes a day the starting the day that you heard about the test. So then, so then you can just cram a little bit of studying every day and that will amount to enough knowledge to ace that test. Okay, students, remember there is a test in two weeks on March 22nd. Remember and be prepared. Your teacher told you about the test and now it's time to start studying that day. Study that day until March 22nd or until the day that your test is. So like I said in my last tip, study for 10 minutes and then once you start studying from this day on, you will have enough knowledge and I hope and I hope you guys do well and that you stick to these tips. That was the last one. Okay guys, so I hope you guys enjoyed the video. Um, yeah, so if these were helpful to you guys, then comment down below if this was helpful. If you decide to wear these makeup looks, tweet me a picture or Instagram me a picture with BTS with BB14 or BTS BB14. Um, yeah, so I hope this was helpful. If it was, like and subscribe. Check out Emily's video. She'll be linked in the description and follow all my social medias, which will all be in the description as well as Q&A. Um, I mean, not Q&A, FAQ. So frequently asked questions will be down below, like what editor I use, what camera I use, how old I am, and all that um, stuff that you guys are nosy about. 
I'm kidding. But yeah, so if you liked it, then thumbs it up, and I will see you all in the next one. Ta-ta!